Well, hi everyone, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop, and this is going to be a little different because I'm coming to you from the parking lot. Yeah, now actually, this wonderful stone wall that you see behind me has been here since the uh, 1880s, and this used to be part of the viaduct for the old Reading Railroad when the trains would come in and circle and go into the terminal in Center City. And uh, so this was quarried many, many, many years ago, and it's sort of a nice backdrop. Now, the camera is propped up on the trunk of my car, and I'm looking in my trunk right now, and I just came from the flea market. So everything is still in bags, and I'm just going to pull stuff out of the bags and uh, show you what I purchased this morning and try to remember uh, the prices as best I can. So this, uh, I also, so after the flea market, I then went to a Goodwill. So there's some flea market and there's some Goodwill. I'm just going to start pulling it out and letting you see everything. Well, this is obviously from uh, the Good Goodwill, and it's not going to take me that long. Not everything is all wrapped up. Sometimes they tie the bags shut. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so for $4.49, here's a wonderful bowl. Uh, having, it, I have a Northwood feel to this, possibly. It's green glass, and it is on a silver-plated base. It was never drilled. Uh, the base is very tight around the bottom of the glass. Most of the silver is worn off and some of the gilding. Um, but I see thistles, uh, thistles on here. Do you see thistles? I think I see thistles. And uh, so this would date to uh, probably around 1910, something like that. And it may or may not be Northwood. I'm going to have to check. Now this was $10, and this I purchased at the flea market. And um, so this is in really good condition. And some of you are going to have to help me out. Now, I know it's from a department store display, and I'm trying to find the rest of it. Here's the rest of it. This is a beautiful, this is walnut. And uh, this fits right down here on the top like this, and it can be adjusted. Um, and so uh, it's, as I said, I think that either shirts were put on this. I don't think this was used for hats, but for some reason I'm just not really thinking. I haven't researched it, but I know it's a, a store display piece. And it's um, both... Let's see. Actually, this is mahogany. I'm sorry, I said walnut, but it's actually it's actually mahogany. What do you think of that? That's really nice. What was displayed on this? Now, it's it's not a table. It's definitely a store display piece. But I think shirts were put on this, or maybe hats. I don't know. That was only that was only ten dollars. I was really surprised at that. Really, really, really surprised. Now, I took a chance on this. Uh, it is a Bakelite clock <laughs> that I paid $5 for. I hear some things rattling around on the inside, so and someone has gotten into it and put this ridiculously long cord on there. But it is Art Deco, it is in a Bakelite cabinet, and this would date to from the mid-30s to the early 40s. Uh, so I'm going to have a good time getting inside to try to figure out if I can fix it. Because you know I really like tinkering with things. So uh, let's see. I think we're still dealing with stuff from the... No, this is from the Goodwill. I had to get this. It's, you know, we love our little Dutch people in kitchens. So there's a planter. A Dutch looking planter. Here is a really nice 
dresser, scarf, or table, table runner. These were popular in the 1920s. I use these uh, a lot in my home. That's the back side. <laughs> Turn it around. And there it is. This is really pretty. And so these were used on uh, as table runners on library tables and other tables uh, in the in the 1920s era. And this one is in really, really good shape. It's not even, it doesn't smell or anything. Um, this was a dollar, and this is a dental casting, dental casting machine, uh, me, uh, not meter, what am I trying to, sometimes the words, I had to get it for $10, I'm sorry, for $1. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. This is the kind of thing that the steampunk people love to get their hands on. So, okay, now this stuff is all wrapped up, so I'm going to turn the uh, camera off. And wait till the drag racers go by. Here's another little planter with a, like a pixie on a you know, 1940s, 50s, that's kind of cute. Uh, that was Goodwill and that was $2.50. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, for $5 at the flea market, I bought this little set of milk glass salt and pepper shakers with the original aluminum lids. And they're not, they are not marked on the bottom, but they really have sort of a McKee look to them. They could be Jeanette, but uh, actually, you know what? I just noticed they're not a matching set. Look, the designs are different. I didn't even notice that when I bought them. I mean, they're the same shape. The lids are the same. The bases are the same, but the graphic on the front uh, doesn't match each other. So that's slightly disappointing, but I'll be able to do something with them. And then from the Goodwill store is another piece of uh, mid-century glass. This is a um, Amberina. Not drastically, not a drastic difference between the gold as it goes up to the red, but I think you can see. And that was um, five dollars and fifty cents, but it was half off. This is a little uranium measuring cup from the 1930s and I can't remember what I paid for that, but that came from the flea market. I do know what I paid for these, because I couldn't believe it. These are two actual, you know, authentic uranium glass reamers from the 1930s, and uh, there's not a single chip on either one. These things are always chipped. And these are both in perfect condition, and they were $3 each, and the guy let me have them two for five. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Um, these are not reproductions, uh, but now you say, how do you know? Well, there is a lot of wear on these exactly where we would expect to see it right around here where this was slid on Granny's kitchen counter for 40, 50 years. Um, and there's, they also will glow under a black light. Reamers have been reproduced, but the ones that they reproduce are the jadeite ones, and there are some others that have been reproduced, but these are the real thing. And then I spent $2 on this little toy, uh, to the train set and he's the newspaper man and he says extra extra read all about it I'm gonna be using that with my father's old train set when I set it up at Christmas time all right there's more on the front seat I'll be right back okay now these things came from the Goodwill store here's another mid-century glass please piece this one's really dirty um, it's in amber, and it was uh, $7, but this was half off. Okay, 
I don't know that amber is the most popular color in that glass, but it will look nice mixed in with other pieces. Then also at the Goodwill, I got several pieces of um, the Mildred pattern, which was made by Mount Clemens. And so here is a covered uh, casserole, chip and crack free. And here is a creamer and a sugar. And the sugar bowl is also, I guess I should hold it still and let you see it. This is also, also chip and crack free. Mildred uh, doesn't have marks on the bottom of it. It usually just says made in USA. These pieces were all 33% uh, off of the sticker price. And then I'm not going to show you all of it, but I got a whole bunch of Anchor Hocking uh, charm in the forest green, charm pattern in forest green. And for some reason they wrapped it in like this saran wrap. I know you can't see it. Um, so here are a bunch of plates. I think most of you are familiar with the forest green glass and the charm pa pattern. And so you'll see all that. You'll see it all again once it's all cleaned up. Now, let me put this in the car and go get some more. Okay, back at the flea market, I bought some things from my absolute favorite seller. He's there uh, every week, and he always gives me great deals, and he's just a really nice guy. So, made by the Hall Company. Is that upside down? Here's a cobalt pitcher, which may look black out here, but it's cobalt, and a little, um, a little tiny creamer, I guess, by the Hall Company. Then a 1940s, this is so cool, I think this is 40s, uh, perfume bottle. Some of the gold has, has come off, so there's no mark on it. Uh, but I like it. Now, I am saving a bunch of 1930s, 40s items. I told you this, oh, I don't know, maybe a month ago, I was planning on a special called On Granny's Vanity, right? Or your mother's dressing table. So I'm saving a lot of vintage perfume bottles and other accoutrements that a woman would have on her uh, dressing table from the 30s and 40s. This was a detached retina moment for me because it is uh, an iridescent blue flower frog. Uh, most of them that you see are going to be clear. Green was popular. They made these in pottery. I've never found a blue one before and it's awesome to have it in iridescent glass. So this is going to date all the way back to the time of the carnival glass era and the stretch glass era. So we're talking 1905 to 1925, somewhere in there. This should sell for about $20. Um, and I bought this uh, bundled in with a whole bunch of stuff, so I can't really tell you how much I paid because I paid $20 and I got pretty much everything that I'm showing you now. Then the same dealer sold me Two beautiful uh, flow blue plates. Please don't drop these. These are uh, fantastic and they are absolutely 100% chip free, which is amazing for flow blue. This is called the Grace Pattern. Now, I've had this before. It is almost impossible to read this mark. Don't adjust your bifocals. <laughs> That's the way it looks. Flow blue is blurry to begin with, but this is actually uh, Grindly, G-R-I-N-D, G-R-I-N-D-L-Y, or G-R-I-N-D-L-E-Y, Grindly plates in the grace pattern, even though that's you don't see that anywhere on them. And these are gonna date to from about 18, the very late 1890s, something like 1895 to just after the turn of the century. Two flow blue plates. And to find them absolutely chip-free, crack-free, and with no uh, stains on them, 
is amazing. Now the last thing that I'm going to show you is a true detached retina moment. Uh, it has a lot of value, eh, but it was really exciting because I never, ever, ever find anything like this. Now as soon as I hold it up, I'm being so dramatic. Some of you are going to know exactly what it is. And when I saw it on the bottom shelf at the Goodwill store, I held my breath. You ready? As it rises up from the floor. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That is a refrigerator dish made by the McKee Company. And um, this is in the dot pattern. And these are red dots. They made it with black dots, green dots, and um, I have not checked comps on these in a long time, but this is a piece that will sell for no less than $100, and it could sell for as much as $300, depending. I have not taken the lid off yet, but from what I can see so far, there are no cra uh, chips on this at all which is amazing for a refrigerator dish. Now, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it will say, it will have the McKee initials, uh, MCK, in that little circle right there, but I don't believe you can see it. Perhaps you can. And I saw this on the bottom shelf, and I looked to my right and I looked to my left to make sure nobody was watching me before I had a dramatic moment. Wow. Um, this may actually fluoresce under black light. It's actually a custardy color to the glass and it might, it probably has uranium in it. What an exciting find. Uh, there's also a piece of furniture in my, in, in this vehicle, but I am not going to pull that out. I'll show that to you later. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review out of the back of my trunk. I really am pulling stuff out of my trunk. And uh, so I'll get it all inside and cleaned up and eventually it will all wind up, most of it, for sale in the old curiosity shop. Okay everyone, um, thanks for watching. I always appreciate when you like, comment, and subscribe and leave comments. Have yourselves a wonderful evening. I'm Scott from the old curiosity shop. Thanks for watching and so long for now.